Okay, so let's pick up with blood, right? So in an average um, adult, you have four to six quarts of blood uh, going through your circulatory system, okay? Um, and it transports waste products, oxygen, carbon dioxide, sugar, proteins, clotting factors, um, and blood cells, among other things. The actual fluid portion of your blood is called plasma. Um, over 90% of your plasma is made up of water. And the plasma itself makes up about 45, or excuse me, 55% of your blood volume. All right, then the other 45% are your actual blood cells. So this is where you have um, uh, different cells that provide different functions. Your main cells are erythrocytes, leukocytes, and thrombocytes. <clears throat> so erythrocytes, which are your red blood cells, those have a protein in them um, called hemoglobin. And hemoglobin has a specific structure where it can carry two oxygen molecules. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so that's what actually carries the oxygen to your cells and the carbon dioxide away from your cells. Okay, um, if you don't have enough erythrocytes or red blood cells, that is actually a form of anemia. Leukocytes. Now, these are white blood cells, and white blood cells are, um, they provide the function of immunity in your body. Okay, so there's different types of erythrocytes, um, or excuse me, leukocytes, oh my gosh, white blood cells, white blood cells, okay, um, and ultimately different types of white blood cells perform different so you have neutrophils, you have eosinophils, basophils, monocytes, lymphocytes. Okay, actually, I should probably just show this to you in your actual um, chapter. That would probably be much more beneficial for you. So, Here we go. All right. So we talk about your leukocytes. Okay. Um, these are what are produced when you have an invader in your body or your body thinks there's an invader. And it'll start, depending on what, what type of invader, it'll start telling your body to produce different types of leukocytes, right? So we have the neutrophils. Okay. So they phagocytize, um, so they eat bacteria, and then they, they secrete lysozyme, which is what actually breaks down the bacteria. Then you have eosinophils. It's produced eosinophil. Uh, those um, produce antihistamines. Um, so when your body starts to have an allergic reaction to something, okay, uh, they produce antihistamines. Um, so, like when you take Benadryl, Benadryl is an antihistamine. Um, you can get antihistamines that are supposed to help with congestion, um, that sort of thing. So, but your body actually has eosinophils to be able to provide that function. Basophils, okay, so this is um, what actually produces histamine, which causes inflammation, okay? Um, and basophils can also uh, um, produce heparin and um, is an anticoagulant. An anticoagulant keeps your blood from clotting. Okay. Um, then you have monocytes, which also phagocytize uh, bacteria and form material. So um, monocytes and neutrophils basically um, eat the bacteria. They engulf it. Um, and then you have lymphocytes, okay? And these actually develop antibodies. Um, and they're also uh, cancer-fighting cells. Um, so at any point in time, anybody has cancer cells in their body. Like it, it just automatically happens. Nobody is immune to cancer. The problem is when people get diagnosed with cancer, that's when uh, these cancer-fighting cells either are non-existent or they're not able to keep up with 
the rapid replication of cancer cells in your body. Okay, so you have lymphocytes um, that are, these are mainly found in your lymphatic system uh, that develop antibodies to kill specific types of, of pathogens. Then you have the thrombocytes, right? These are platelets. These are what stick together and they can form plots. Okay, they're, they're the primary uh, defense of the body from um, bleeding out through damaged blood vessels. Okay. All right. So I don't want to get into diseases and abnormal conditions. I'm going to put videos up for that for next week. Um, but please be prepared to test on the circulatory system on Wednesday. Okay. All right. And then we'll follow up the following week with the lymphatic system. So uh, thank you for listening. And I will see you on Monday.